Hello folks, this is Oilfield Cotton, and it's my favorite time of the year. What time is that? Well, it's almost alligator season. In fact, we are two weeks away. Uh, gator season in Louisiana, in North Louisiana anyway, opens up the first Wednesday of September, which this year is September the 7th. And I thought I'd make a video to show y'all how I get prepared, uh, get ready to kick off this season. Uh, what I like to do is usually get go to Walmart and buy one of these styrofoam boxes. Uh, you might have seen them in our boat in some of our videos. Uh, in fact, one of my buddies made it famous by stepping through one of the boxes. I don't believe you'll step through our box. Right through the box. <laughs> so, so basically I like to uh, get all my lines made up and hang them in there in the box and then that way they're already ready to go so when we get on the water all we got to do is get the trees set them and, and go so the first thing we're going to do is get started with the line uh, this is number 120 tarred braided line uh, it's good for 1100 pounds i buy it usually in bulk uh, there's a company in louisiana called nets and more uh, you can look at their website i'll probably post it in the description below uh, netsandmore.com ever since I've been gator hunting that's where I buy all my gator hunting stuff it's a pretty awesome place uh, no they don't sponsor the video but they are awesome and uh, and I have been using them pretty much my entire gator hunting career so to measure out 30 foot I just take my rope and I just do five of my wingspans one two three four five and then what I like to do is after I cut the line I'll have a candle burning once your candles burning what I like to do is just burn the ends of it that way it won't fray I burn both ends. Just kind of melt them a little bit. That way I don't have to worry about them fraying. Also what I do is the uh, the first one that I cut, I use that as the original. And I just double them up like that. And I use the same original every time. That way my link doesn't get off. Lay that one over to the side. Grab the original. Do it all over again. Now then. And then once I do that 20 or 30 times and get however many I want, I'll take my hook. People have been asking about the hooks. Uh, this is a 12 alt mustad hook. Uh, the reason why I got this one is because it's got a bigger eye and it helps the line pass through a lot easier when I'm tying it up. A lot of the bigger hooks have smaller eyes. Uh, like I said, this is a 12 alt. You can get a 10 alt, a 12 alt, or a 14 alt hook for alligator hunting. Uh, if you know that you're going after a big alligator, you might want to go with a 14 alt hook, but this 12 alt mustad hook is the only one I know that's got the bigger eyes on it, and that helps me when I'm tying. Okay, in case you missed it, one of my last videos uh, from last year, I'll show you how to tie a hook real fast. It's really simple. You're just going to run the line through the eye of the hook, just like that, and then you just want to tie a knot on the end of your line. Once you got your knot tied at the end of your line, you can see that your hook won't come off. And then basically you double your line up 
just like that. And you want to take your knotted end and you want to run it around until you make a loop. See that? You're going to make a loop. And then you're just going to pass that through the loop. And then you're just going to pull it tight. And there it is. I'll show you all one more time. You're going to pass it through, the, through there. Go tie your knot. Just at the end of it. Just like that. And you're going to take it. Double it. And take this one and loop it around both of them. And then you're just going to pull that tight. And then, boom, there it is. It's going nowhere. Also, while I'm getting my hooks ready, I'm also getting my clothespins ready. Because you need something to hang it off the tree with, right? So, all you need is a roll of string. Uh, this is just a little nylon uh, thin trot line string it really don't matter and then this is just a regular old clothespin that you get from Dollar General or wherever it don't really matter just a regular old clothespin and that clothespin is gonna have a spring in the middle of it in the spring you're just gonna run this right through that spring just like that and all you're gonna do is cut your line Let your clothespin hang in the middle and take your two cut ends, just make you a knot. That's basically all it is to it. And then that way when you get ready to hang it, just imagine that's the branch. And you're just gonna pass it through itself. So when it hangs down, it hangs down just like that. And then if you take your hook and your line, you just hang it on the clothespin just like that. And then you can adjust up and down how low or how high you want the bait to sit. That's it. For however many lines I make, I make twice as many clothespins because a lot of times you get a lot of false triggers with alligator hunting, which means they'll pull your bait off the line and you don't actually get the alligator but every time I say every time 75% of the time when they pull the hook off of this clothespin it's going to destroy this clothespin so for every line I make I make two clothespins just in preparation for it so basically just so y'all can see I just feed one end of the line in there it up hey guys I just wanted to end the video by showing you two things that you could put in your gator arsenal it might make you a more successful gator hunter first one being a gaff now this one's pretty fancy you just buy it at the store uh, you don't have to have anything quite this nice uh, you could just tape a hook to the end of a cane pole if you wanted to it's not that big a deal but what we use this for is finding the line a lot of times when the line's down uh, the gators are digging the mud they'll be on bottom the last thing you want to do is be digging around there with your arm or something trying to fill in the water because that gator is angry at the other end he doesn't like being caught and he might take some revenge out on you so the worst worst thing you can do is put your hand in the water so this gaff you just you'll watch the videos you'll see us filling around trying to find a rope with this gaff. Very important to have. And the last thing I want to talk about is the old treble hook. Uh, these are three 14 alt hooks uh, weighted in the center, comes up to an eye. It's tied on to by 30 yards of sash cord. Uh, the other end I tie to the rail of my boat so it doesn't come loose. But sometimes when you come up to alligator lines, you'll notice that the hook hasn't, they haven't swallowed the bait or the hook but it might be hung right there in the top of their mouth or maybe on the side and I mean it could be hanging on by just a piece of meat so if you pull up your line and you see that then you break out the old treble hook and you go on and get you another hook in it so the gator don't get off now when you hit this thing with this treble hook she's gonna fight 
Nobody likes a hook rammed into the side of them. We all know that. So, yes, it's going to put up a fight. Um, so get ready. Hang on. The one thing that you need to know about a treble hook is, is once you hook an alligator, you do not want to get slack in the line because they will try to roll out of it. And they will successfully a lot of times. But if you hook it in tight and you let them roll while you're pulling on it, then they'll just roll their self right up in it and there's no way they can get out and that alligator is yours. But two important things to have in your arsenal, a gaff, so you can find your rope without reaching your hand in the water, thus saving your hand, and the old treble hook. I mean, you just gotta have it in your arsenal. But that's all the time we have for today. I'm looking forward to alligator season. I'm looking forward to putting out videos for you guys. And uh, I can't wait to see how this season's gonna turn out. So until next time,